Hello friends, welcome back to the revision series for science and technology. This is part 5 of the lecture. Hope you have seen all the 4 parts where we have covered different current affairs related to the defense and space technologies. So, as part mein, is part 5 mein, hum continue kar rahe, defense and space technology current affairs ke saath. Okay, uh, or I hope you have a preparation for the last 50 days for the last 50 days for the last 50 days. And at this time, we have a preparation for the last 50 days. And we are helping you with these current affairs. So make sure you revise all these things continuously so that things will settle in your mind. And this will be very helpful for your examination. Okay, so now let's get started. And the content for today's lecture will be so, first, from the defense and space technology, we will be covering Varaha. After that, we will see what is Asteroid Impact Detection Assessment. After that, we will see MPA TGM Missile. We will talk about Rassam 2. We will see the Human Space Flight Program. After that, we will talk about Astra Missile, the Head-on Generation Technology. Next, we will see Sagatteris A. Next, we will talk about the Project Netra. Project Netra. Okay. Now, let's get started. First, Varaha. What is Varaha? Varaha is an Indian Coast Guard ship which was commissioned. So remember, Varaha is a Coast Guard ship. So the question might be an exam. Varaha, which was recently seen in news, is a option A, a destroyer, option B, aircraft carrier, option C, Coast Guard ship, option D, none of the above. So the option, so the correct answer will be option C, the Coast Guard ship. So this Coast Guard ship, you know, it was built by the LNT in North Chennai. So there is a, there is a company, there is a separate company of LNT, LNT Defense, where in which they will be building all these you know, defense related equipments like ships and submarines. Okay. So remember, LNT is also building the nuclear attack submarines. Okay. So this Varaha, which is a Coast Guard ship, it will enhance the surveillance and patrolling capabilities of Indian Coast Guard and reinforce their role as a sentinelist of our seas. So the Coast Guards are very important for us because they guard the internal seas, also known as the exclusive economic zone. This EEZs, the exclusive economic zones, will be guarded by these coast guards. All the high seas will be guarded by Indian Navy, but the exclusive economic zones, this will be guarded by the Indian coast guards. Next one, asteroid impact detect, deflection assessment, or detection, sorry, deflection assessment. Kya hai ye? Asteroid impact def deflection assessment. It's a joint mission between NASA and the European Space Agency, ESA. ESA is European Space Agency and this is a joint collaboration. So this aims to study the viability of diverting an asteroid by crashing a spacecraft into its surface. So here main objective kya hai? Let's say an asteroid is coming towards us. It poses a threat because if, there's a, if it is a large asteroid, it can, it can create or it can damage Earth. So here we are testing, NASA and ESA are combined and we are testing that we can a spacecraft and collide and divert it divert or not. So that is why it is called the Asteroid Impact Deflection Assessment. So NASA is working for this along with the European Space Agency. Okay. Next one, MPA TGM Missile. What is this MPA TGM Missile? It is Man Portable Anti-Tank Guided Missile. So what is the Anti-Tank Guided Missile of India? It is NAG. Okay. Remember NAG is an Anti-Tank Guided Missile. So this Man Portable Anti-Tank Guided Missile it is developed by DRDO. It is a third generation fire and forget anti-tank missile. Third generation fire and forget anti-tank missile. And this is incorporated with the state of art infrared imaging seeker with advanced avionics. Advanced avionics. So this MPA TGM is an anti-tank guided missile. Man portable anti-tank guided missile. Remember that it is developed by DRDO. Next question. Rust, next current affair is Rustam 2. What is Rustam 2? It is a UAV unmanned aerial vehicle UAV so it is a medium altitude long endurance so mail mail 2 it is called so this Rustam 2 is a drone of India developed by DRDO okay it is an unmanned aerial vehicle developed by DRDO and its objective is to carry out surveillance for the armed forces with an endurance of 24 hours that means up to 24 hours it can remain in the space okay so Rustam 2 is a drone developed by DRDO the defense research and development organization Next is the <coughs> excuse me human space flight program. So this human space flight program is planned by the ISRO. ISRO wants to send astronauts to space. So for that, Indian astronauts are being trained in Russia. As you all know, it was in newspapers that Indian astronauts are trained by Russia because they have experience in it. They have astronauts living in the International Space Station, so they are training the Indian astronauts. 
so this isro and dia what what happened is isro and drdo has signed a, an agreement has signed an agreement so that the critical technologies will be shared by both isro and drdo because both isro and drdo are government companies but they are two different entities so information sharing is very important because the drdo focuses mainly on the research so when it focuses mainly on the research it will have some amazing technologies which can be used by isro for its upcoming project because at the end everyone's goal is to make india proud okay so this isro and drdo have signed an mou to make to provide critical technologies for human space missions it was under the agreement that the space technologies you know these capabilities existing in drdo labs for defense applications will be customized to meet the requirements of isro space mission okay the drdo will be providing all the critical technologies to isro such as space crew health monitoring and the emergency survival kit all these things will be provided by the drdo as i told drdo is a research organization and it already has some amazing technologies with it okay so regarding you know all the parachutes for the safety recovery of the astronauts and all isro and drdo have signed an mou so this is important here next one the astra missile what is the astra missile it is a indigenously developed beyond visual range air to air air to air missile astra a to air missile astra it is an all weather state of the art missile developed by drdo and it is a supersonic speed the supersonic means anything above the speed of sound is supersonic so the speed of this astra missile will be 1.2 mac to 1.4 mac and it has a range of about 80 kilometers and 20 kilometers for a tail chase tail chase means an aircraft chasing another aircraft 20 kilometers range it can reach up to 110 kilometers when fired from proper altitude okay of 15 kilometers it can reach a maximum range of 110 kilometers okay so this is about the astra missile remember astra is a beyond visual range air to air missile this is the important thing what we have to remember it is developed by drdo defense research and development organization next head on generation technology so this head on generation technology is going to be implemented by the indian railways what is this head on generation technology so when we travel in trains we will be getting air conditioning we will be getting light we will be getting fan from where the train gets all the power till now the trains are having a separate carriage of diesel generators for generating the power till now the trains are having separate carriages for generating power for air conditioning fans and the lights because of this what is happening the indian railways is facing huge losses so now what indian railways has done is it is it has it is going to implement this head on generation technology where in which the electricity which it consumes in order to run the engine also will be used for lighting up the train and the other power supply to the different aspects of train like the air conditioning like the fans lights and all and even the pantry the electricity which is you know taken from the the wires which is above the train so that electricity will be used in order to light up the train okay that is why this was in news so the railway minister talked about upgrading of all the trains okay with this head on generation technology this would cause the trains to become more cost efficient because normally when we are using the diesel engines sorry not diesel engines the diesel powered generators for powering up the train the cost for indian railways is approximately 22 rupees 22 rupees per unit but when if we use the electrical system if we use the wires above the train for the electricity supply of the train it will cost indian railways only 6 rupees per unit this can save a lot of money for indian railways okay this hawk technology runs the trains hotel load the load of the air conditioning lights fans and pantry etc by drawing electricity from overhead electric lines as i told you already okay this is the hog head on generation technology remember head on generation technology is going to be used in trains trains next one sagittarius a what is this sagittarius a the sagittarius a is a super massive black hole which is 26000 light years away from the earth it's a black hole if someone asks what is sagittarius a it is a super massive black hole it is near the galactic center or the center of milky way galaxy that is why this is important the center of milky way galaxy you know even the solar system what we are living is part of the milky way galaxy 
In the recent years, it has shown an unusual activity and the area around it has been much brighter than usual. So what is the activity exactly going on? We don't know. But we have observed that some unusual activity is going on around that black hole, which is Sagittarius A. Okay. Next is Project Netra. The last one for the day. Project Netra. What is this Project Netra? We have two Netras. One Netra, which you will normally be seeing in the news, it is the Airborne Early Warning Control System. AWS. Air warning, uh, you know, Airborne Early Warning Control System. This is different from Project Netra, which is nothing. This Netra is Network for Space Object Tracking and Analysis. Network for Space Object Tracking and Analysis. ISRO has initiated this project Netram at a, as an early warning system in the space to detect the space debris and other hazardous to Indian satellites. Because as we know, as I told you already in the previous lecture, the space debris is increasing, the space pollution is increasing day by day. So this space pollution poses a serious threat to the satellites of any country which are there in the space. So ISRO is going to, is, you know, is working on this project so that we will be able to detect if there is any space debris that is coming towards the Indian satellite so that if there is any debris that is coming we can divert that satellite so that there will be no collision and our satellite will be saved. So under this project Netra, ISRO is planning to put up many observational facilities connecting radars and telescope, data processing and control center. Okay, This is about the project Netra. So now let's revise what we have studied till now. First is Varaham. Varaha is a coast guard ship. It was commissioned recently. It was built by LNT in Chennai. Next is asteroid impact detection as deflection assessment. It is done by NASA and ESA combinedly. ESA is the European Space Agency. Next is MPA TG, TGM missile developed by DRDO. It's man portable anti tank guided missile. It is developed by DRDO. Next is Rustam 2. It was in use. This Rustam 2 is nothing but the it is a UAV unmanned aerial vehicle developed by DRDO. Next, human spaceflight program. ISRO is planning this human spaceflight program. ISRO want to launch the human program of the of the of the Indian Space Research Organization by 2022. So for that, ISRO has made it has signed an MOU with the DRDO. Next is Astra missile. Astra missile developed by DRDO is the beyond visual range A2 air missile. Okay. Next, the head-on generation technology. Head-on generation technology is the generation of electricity, usage of electricity by the requirements for the train requirements by the electricity supplied by the wire lines above it and not by any generators. Okay. Next is Sagittarius SA. Sagittarius SA is the supermassive black hole in the center of Milky Way galaxy. Next, Project Netra, the network for space object tracking and analysis. This Project Netra is the ISRO project. And it is not the Air Warning Early Control System, AWS, AWS, it is not that Netra. This Netra is a network for space object tracking and analysis so that if there is any space debris that is coming towards Indian satellites, we, we will be able to prevent that. Okay. So that's it friends for this lecture. I'll see you again in the next lecture. Till then keep studying and stay tuned. Jai Hind.